Well, friends and neighbors, it's that time of year again. We're a little over two months away from wrapping up 2009, so that means it's almost time to hand out the second annual Douchebag of the Year Award. Now, while it was fairly popular last year, the process still went a little bit parachute because of some last-minute nominations, so I'm going to try to streamline it a little bit this year. Here's the lowdown. Between now and November 18th, you can leave comments, notes, and video responses to nominate someone who made a particularly big ass of him or herself or just came off as a huge jerk during 2009. The first rule is they have to be someone in the public eye. So no matter how much your kids, wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, parents, in-laws, neighbors, or boss may get on your nerves, they aren't eligible unless they're either in the news or doing something that society as a whole seems to be doing. Sorry. Incidentally, by in the news, I mean celebrities, politicians, local nutjobs, special interest groups, stupid criminals, pretty much anything that can get noticed by more than ten people. The next rule is that whatever you're nominating them for, it has to be something that's true and it has to be something that's really dumb and or abnormally mean. Finally, while I'm all for freedom of speech, I do have a request about any politicians you want to send in. If you're going to nominate any, do it because they've actually done something bad or stupid, not just because you don't like them, alright? Let's use Barack Obama as an example here. If you want to nominate him because he kind of sits on the fence or doubles back on promises or things like that, that's fine. But if you want to nominate him because you think he's a Kenyan Muslim agent or a communist or because he's black or because you just think his ears are too big, well, let's just say I've already got something special in mind for you. That's all you got to keep in mind, ladies and germs. Send your nominations by November 18th, and I'll announce a short list pretty soon after that. Then everyone will vote between then and Christmas, and I'll announce the winner on New Year's Eve. It's as simple as that. And that's it for me.